but we have also learned through law enforcement sources that the brother of this shooter, Ryan Lanza, was uh, originally identified as a shooter, maybe because uh, his younger brother was carrying his ID. He has spoken with federal authorities, as described as very cooperative. He's telling federal authorities that he believes his brother had developmental problems and possibly autism, and the, the boy's father also said to be cooperating with federal authorities in New Jersey, being questioned, trying to shed some light on this kid's mental state and what may have set him off. All right. So they have the father and the brother who are obviously trying to explain <clears throat> to authorities the condition of the dead murderer. When you uh, cover a story like this, there's a lot of chaos and there's a lot of misreporting. As you just mentioned, that kid Ryan, we just saw the brother was initially tied in to the crime, but now he's been totally exonerated, right? There's just one shooter. They believe it's one man who did these horrible things. Is that correct? Correct. And, and yeah, and Bill, you can understand, you know, in the aftermath of a major incident like this, there's a lot of confusion. Uh, in this case, if the shooter was carrying an identification, uh, you, then that would lead investigators to believe that that was him. Apparently, it was his brother, his older brother. This kid's 20, his brother's 24. He, he may have had his ID on him for, you know, purposes of, who knows, alcohol, who knows. Yeah, but he was that carrying it. Well, we just want to be clear. Hoboken. I want to be clear. The shooter, who's now dead, was carrying his brother's ID. That's the ID they found on him. And his brother and the father live in New Jersey, not close to the scene. All right, Rick, we appreciate right. it. Thank you very much.